Okay, welcome back to another episode of Drive Through Math. In this one, we're going to talk about how to find the surface area of cylinders. Now, in order to do so, we're going to go ahead and use a formula. And that formula is right over here on the screen. It's surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 times pi r squared plus 2 times pi r h. Now, pi, we're going to go ahead and substitute with 3.14 according to our problem here. And R stands for the radius, which is the distance from the outer edge of a circle to the center point. And uh, the H stands for the height. So we're going to plug in what we know from the problem into the formula and then just go from there. So here we have, we're going to get started with surface area equals 2 times 3.14 times radius, which is 2 squared. And 2 squared just means 2 times 2. Uh, plus, let me do that again, plus 2 times 3.14 times radius, which is 2, times our height, which is 5. Now, be careful here because we really have two things, two segments of, of this formula going on. We have to solve those independent of one another before we can add them together because of the order of operations. So let's go ahead and solve what we can. I'm going to use my calculator. 2 times 3.14 is 6.28. We're going to multiply that by 2 squared, which is 4. Um, so we're going to get 25 and 12 hundredths. Let me write that in. 25 and 12 hundredths. That's what that side is equal to. Then we're going to do the other side. So 2 times 3.14 uh, times 2 times 5 and we're gonna get 62 and 8 tenths 62 and 8 tenths now when we add those two together we're gonna go ahead and do that 25.12 plus 62.8 we're going to get 87.92 87.92 and there you have it that is the surface area of our cylinder let me go ahead and explain some of these parts real quick though um, in the formula, when we're doing the 2 times pi r squared, what we're really doing is finding the surface area or the area of the two circular bases of that cylinder. And when we do the second part, 2 pi uh, r h, what we're finding out is the area of the curved side of that cylinder. So that's what each one of those components stands for and their function. And uh, again, when we add those two sums together, we get our answer, which is 87 and 9200 square inches. Don't forget, area is always squared. And there you have it, surface area of cylinders.